knees moving. That's what I'm thinking. Two scoops. One for each leg. Oh. Yep, need it.
good, good. Go. All right, this is the tip for leg curls. What you want to do is you want to make sure your knee is in line with the cam of the moving part. So again, your knee should be right in here. It shouldn't be up here. It shouldn't be behind it. You want the rotating motion of the cam to be aligned with the biomechanics of your knee. So again, a lot of people will go either a little bit too far forward, a little too far back, and they don't get the full contraction. Similar to a bicep curl, there's a bicep femoris. You want to make sure you line up the cam. Control it. Go up there and pause it. Pause it. There you go. Good. Good. Pause it. That's how you do a, a curl. Good. Good. Don't use momentum. Don't use momentum. Good. Two more. Good. One more. One more. One more. Good job. Go. Good. Two. Chin up. Chin up. Look at the top. Good. Look at that duck in front of you. Good. 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 Two, 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 two. Good. Pause off the bottom. Go. Hold it. Five seconds. Four, three, two, up. Good job. Let's go. All right. Here's your pro tip. Make sure that you go all the way down. You want to get full depth. Don't do short range of motion. If you can't handle the weight, go lighter, get the full range of motion, try to get down to parallel or breaking parallel and come back up. You can go a little shorter on the really heavy stuff, but you really want to be able to try to get to parallel. taking over this workout. We're gonna do calves and we're done. See what Hani says. Hey, calves, right? Calves, we're done? You're funny. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> 